I've made many videos exposing the agenda of the Talmud Jewish lobby to censor freedom of speech and also the fact that they'll give lip service to free speech, but really they only support free speech and free expression when it suits them. They only support the speech and expression that's being made when they agree with it. When they don't agree with it, well then they turn the full on cancel culture vultures, as I like to call them. But this is not a new thing. I've said in my videos that this goes back 2,000 years. The Talmud Jewish lobby has had a long uh, 2,000 year history of cancel culture. The only difference is the tactics have changed. Instead of trying to murder those that they uh, uh, would you know oppose and want to shut down, they just use legal means. You know, they try to use legal ways to shut you down. They try to use you know the the arm of the government to try to censure you. They did the same thing back then, but in the form of trying to stir up angry mobs to uh, murder those like the, like the apostles who would criticize their false religion, criticize their blasphemous you know uh, statements about Jesus Christ. And uh, here are some scriptures on that, by the way, too. Okay, Here is uh, some examples of the Talmudic Jewish lobby in which they actually put themselves under a curse of essentially starving themselves until they killed the Apostle Paul. He was a former adherent of Judaism and turned uh, apostle and also critic of Judaism. And the Talmudic Jewish act Jews got together and put themselves under a curse that essentially we're not going to eat or drink till we kill Paul. You can read about this in uh, Acts 23, verse 12 to 14, Acts 23, verse 20 down to verse 21, Acts 9, verse 23 to 25, and Acts 25, verse 2 to 3. They have a long history. It's just the tactics have changed. Instead of trying to murder those, they want to shut you down. But if this were 2,000 years ago, and you said it's something nasty about their blasphemous false, false religion or their filthy Talmud, well then the Talmudic Jewish lobby will literally come down on you like a ton of bricks. You know, they're going to try to stone you. Pretty much. No different than the Mohammedans. So anyway, I wanted to point that out uh, just to prove my point of why I say why I say that they have a long 2,000 year history because they do. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.